Hello and welcome in. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your firmware on the Arturia Minilab MK2. Let's start by opening up Arturia Software Center. We're going to look for an application called MIDI Control Center. Once you find it, go ahead and install it. I already have it installed on my MacBook, so I'm just going to close ASC. Now we can open up MIDI Control Center. Once you open it up, your device should automatically connect. On the upper left hand side, you'll see the firmware revision of your controller. If a new revision is available, it'll prompt you to upgrade. If it doesn't, we'll have to download it manually. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go to Arteria's website. Go to arteria.com support and click on downloads and manuals. In the search bar, type Minilab. Go ahead and click on Minilab MK2. In the result, you'll see a firmware revision of 1.1.2. Go ahead and download that. Once we've downloaded it, we can begin our upgrade. Go ahead and click the firmware revision button. It'll ask you to upgrade. Go ahead and click upgrade. Let's find the firmware file we downloaded and click on it. And then click open. Before we can actually upgrade, we're going to have to reset our controller. Let's do that now. Unplug your USB cable and plug it back in. Once you do so, the buttons on the upper left will light up in a clockwise fashion. Now we can begin. Hit OK. You'll notice the progress bar showing that your firmware is being upgraded. Once it completes, hit OK. We're going to reboot one more time to complete the upgrade. Go ahead and unplug your USB cable and plug it back in. Once you plug your cable back in, the device will go through its boot up sequence. Back in MIDI Control Center, your device will reconnect, and in the upper left hand side, we see the firmware revision of 1.1.2. And there you have it. You just upgraded the firmware on your Minilab MK2. If you got value out of this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to not miss out on future videos like this. If you want to see how to connect the Minilab MK2 to an M1 MacBook, click this video here right now. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.